Hi, this is Catherine Rosen with Wigging Geek here at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting here with Stephen Bonacore and Uli Blenemann from Stronghold and Spielworks, and they're here to talk about La Granja No Siesta, the expansion to La Granja. <gasps> expansion? It is not an expansion. <gasps> It is a standalone. It's a dice based it's a dice game, game, a dice version. Really? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Tell us all about No Siesta. No Siesta, the most important part, uh, of course, are because it's a dice game, are the dice. So each player is rolling two dice plus uh, there is an extra dice. So in a four player game, we have nine dice. And only the start player, let's assume I'm the start player, I roll all of them at the start. Ooh. So let's see, and then I simply pick one of them, and each player would pick one of these. And then afterwards, each player has a small tableau over here, and four discs, yeah? And you are simply looking at the symbol over here and marking this at the correct spot. Of course, this would be a green one over of there. Course. Each player is doing this. Then the start player does the same with the remaining five dice. Again, each player picks a dice, a die, and then marks again the correct one. So can this pick, would be can you it. Pick the same one twice. Yes, you can do so. Um, it's not necessarily a good option, right, but so you can do so. If and you don't have any other choices, this, ah, you're doing this. There you go. Right, and then you see there's only um, a, one remaining die, and this is a common die. It has to be used by all of uh, us. Everybody and, gets to do that. Yeah, and you see on this die there are even two things so, which can be marked. So it would be one olive and one grain, I think it so is. So we would do it like this, olive and grain. Yeah, everybody is doing this. Afterwards, if you have this um, tableau over there, you are marking with a pencil what you have done. And you see, no, no, with oh. this one, I'm sorry. Ah, Each player had one of these, Ooh. this is a colored one. This one. By the way, it's just for the end scoring. So I you see. put in the player's name and then see how many victory points you are having. It's just a scoring pad. Right. But here you see the various options. This is for, because it's La Granja. Mm -hmm. This is again for roofs. So you're getting bonuses um, for, for roofs here. And they can be only used once. So you're picking them blindly. And here, of course, you need silver. So ah. on this one, you need silver to, to get them. But you have to mark this two, uh, twice, and in the end, you are getting one victory point. Here, this is for helpers. Each player has a set of six helpers, and they are give, giving benefits in the game. And they can be used, most of them can be used once per turn. So you can switch one of these crates to a head, or, um, and additional ones, right. Um, if you have a, had a bad choice, you are most likely using these. They are not too valuable, but in the end, if you have one olive, one grain, and one grapes, you're getting one victory point. If you have all of them, one per row, right. It's the same with pigs and um, uh, donkeys uh, over here. You're doing the same thing. And you have to do this from uh, left to right, the same here. Here, you have a choice. You can use any. You could start with some more valuable ones, but of course, you need four different ones exactly. to score. This is a, um, a long distance trait over here. And in order to fulfill these, you need to do this in one turn. So in one turn, you need three olives. And then you get a benefit of a crate, which is this one again. And this basically is a joker, kind of joker. Wild. So you can use a wild one, yeah. Um, and this is a, a market barrow over here. So it's again, that you have to go from left to right. Mm -hmm. You have to mark all these. Plus you need, for this row, you need one donkey. Here you need two donkeys, and here you need three donkeys. Not in one turn, but in the end, to get these victory points over here, you have to mark everything. The first player who achieves this gets a higher value, the I larger see. value. And the other ones, if they fulfill it, get... Uh, they all the, get it, not just yeah. the second person. Mm. Right. Um, most important over here is that you are getting an additional disc. So ah. you start with four, and with additional discs, you have more options. You can place them here, so in the end, scoring, you're getting more uh, points. This is also very important in the game, but it's not too easy to achieve uh, this. So I think one of the, the things to, to point out here is this obviously is a distilled down version of, of the original game La Granja. Mm -hmm. um, and Ode, Andreas, 
Odenhall? Odenhall? Yep. Odendal. Odendal. Uh, he now goes by Ode. He's like, you know, like Cher, like, like one name, just like cool. So he uh, he has distilled down the, the, using the dice mechanic that was in the original, he's actually taken that and actually expanded it to almost be all of the things that were in the original, which is and really Instead of this one aspect of right. the game. He really, yes. he really did an amazing job. So now you have that really cool, um, Euro-y mechanic involved with a with a dice game, and now you can do it in about thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, right? yes. Thirty um, minute quick in and out kind of game. Yeah, and we all know that there are lots of dice games out there, but yes. this is definitely not a simplistic one. There are lots of choices. First, starting with picking the uh, the right uh, die, and then where do I um, where mark are you placing it, it in your farm? And it's it's really as Stephen is saying, it's a distilled version. And how do you end the game? Um, this is by the Siestas, by the, the. This is a siesta track. You must take and the no hat. siesta in no siesta. Exactly. <laughs> right. And here, by the way, you're getting also an additional uh, disc. And the first player who goes right to the top, the game ends. And then you see, for each step, you're getting also one uh, one victory point. By the way, this is also a solitaire game. You see, this is for short. Excuse me, two? yeah, for two to four players. If you turn it over, it's just for a single player. Ah, I see. Same thing for the market. This is a market here, two to four, and if you switch it over, so you can also play it it's a solo solitaire. Market. Yes. Which is really, really cool. I mean, a dice based game that most dice based games are all sort of attacking and stuff like that, you're doing. Uh, uh, but here you can just like pull the game out and you got a few minutes before your friends get there, you can be playing this alone. You know? How long does it take to play? 30 minutes. 30 minute 30 game. Minute game. So nice, out. quick, easy, yep. uh, but still a lot of depth to it. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah. And how many players, do you say? One to four. One to four. One to four players. Great, thank you so much. That is No Siesta, the, La Grania, the dice La game. La Grania, the dice game. Not no Siesta, an very long name. <laughs> Not an expansion.